this is Seeking Sister Wife, Season 3, Episode 9, You Dropped a Bomb on Me. And look, we changed sides. Is it so weird? It's really weird for me. I feel like I've all, I have always sit on that side. Um, what an episode. I tell you, if they can get this, this level of cringe into every episode... It would be more better. Because there, there were so many... For, for a show about... Polygamous couples looking for an additional wife, which is a pretty narrow topic to begin with. There was a lot of surprises in this episode. Um, what do you want to start with? Let's start with large wife. Large wife. Okay, the Merrifields. Uh, Danielle and Garrick get home. Garrick is crying about Roberta. At no point in this episode do you I mean... see him... Hug his wife, kiss his wife, any level of... When they got divorced, he which I know... looks emotionless in the interviews. Like, is, is there anything behind those eyes? Other Until than, he talks about Roberta, then he gets all weepy. Yeah, and so you're he like, lights up with lust. Yeah. So the sister-in-law and the mother her, are there. Wait, sister-in-law? Sister-in-law. It's a sister-in-law. It's her, I think, her brother's... Oh, okay. Wife. Okay. Not his sister. Um, they're, tr they're still, I still stand by it that if off camera they'd be like, this is crazy, this is insane. He's clearly trying to leave her. He is willing to keep her around just so he can get something new. But they're trying to be more polite than to say that on national TV and air out all their feelings. But it's, that's, that would be my best. And they are getting paid to be on TV. Probably not that much. But something. Maybe. Um, anyway. No maybe. So she brings up the thing again about how she felt like they wanted her there. And then she found they had sex. It felt, it felt like they lied to her about it. And she kind of blamed Roberta. And I'm like, I think it's your horny husband who's all over her about uh, how sexy she is. But you had a different opinion than I had. Would you like to share your opinion? She already said she was okay with it in Mexico, so shut up now. My opinion is Or that you shouldn't have said you were okay in Mexico. Or, liar. Actually, I think what you said was even more so. Like, she said she's okay with this whole thing, period. And now she's not. You oh. don't even care. Do you not even really care I, about your opinion? I definitely don't even care. <laughs> <laughs> that is... Whereas I that's feel... The truth. Like, his thing is, he goes, Oh, but, I decided God told me. Now, I want to say on God's behalf, I do not speak for God in all things, but I do not think <laughs> God would be a thousand percent on board with his interpretation of the Christian Bible. I know there's other, there's other religious texts about maybe, God. Maybe he hasn't made things. it to the New Testament. Maybe, yeah. yeah, maybe he's still in the Old Testament. Not that the, not that the Old Te Testament has that many great examples of polygamy no, that worked out well. But it does have examples. Does have examples. New Testament doesn't. Does not. Anyway, <laughs> but his whole thing, because he does say... Basically, he blames God. He says, God has not delivered her from her children. And I was like, oh, man, that is some... Um, I mean, who else is going to start calling out here? It's her fault. It's, so my opinion is that he he seems to think that because she said they can have a second wife, now he's free and clear to do whatever he wants. That's how I feel. And, of course, I think the issue is I don't think this is healthy for her. She shouldn't have said yes to begin with. What about this doesn't seem healthy, honey? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, at some point he's like, well, how would you feel if you were there? And I was like, oh, bucko, let's find out. Let's send her off to Mexico with some stud muffin. And let's just switch. <laughs> let's like really make this whole show because I would 100% watch that if she was like, actually, I've picked out someone. <laughs> I know we would all be for it. I don't know if a TLC audience would be ready for it, but I would watch that train wreck. Anyway, no, the, but the, what the funny part is, is the producers, the directors, they know this, okay? So I don't know how TLC's set works, but usually they have like a, a APs or some, someone is asking these questions. I think they said producer who says they normally don't show this part, but they included it because his answer wouldn't have been as good, wouldn't have made as much sense in context if they hadn't included this, whatever crew member this was um, speaking, who's like, do you have any concern that Danielle is just doing this to well, keep you? before we answer that, let's talk about what he was wearing. A very tight black tank top that I used to own from Delia's back in the 90s. 
Something about that ain't cut right for a man. I know. Someone on Twitter said that, that it looked like he was wearing Roberta's shirt because he missed her. It was very tight. It was this... It, was it this, did. But it was the exact same tank top that I used to have from Delia's, which was a very hip magazine for fashion in the 90s. Point and case. Okay. Anyway, so the producer goes, are you, know, are you at all worried that she's just doing... That she doesn't really want this? That she's just doing this for you? And he's like, oh, no. I'm I not have, worried at all. I'm not worried in the least bit that she's not. She's totally on board. And I was like, okay, well, clearly this guy has the brains of a peanut because he everyone... He don't care. The whole, and that's probably more likely he doesn't care. Okay. And then after they had this conversation, I was waiting for him as a married couple to, like, lean over and go, I love you, hon, or kiss her or something. And it was more like roommates after a, a fight. Okay, who next? How about, um, do you want to do Sidian, the, the magician, and the most intense first date? Winders, and the man who is being held against his will Let's on a date? Let's do the magic man. Okay, magic man. So magic man, Sidian goes on a date with Alexandra. They go for, I guess this is during COVID, so they, can, they, they can't go to bars or anything. But so they, they can't go to a psychic. They go, went to a psychic. I'm sure there's loosey-goosey with the rules. Very intense for a first date. I kept saying, oh, this is a lot. This is very much, if you watched our video we did on drinking and how we met, I tell a story <laughs> in there about an eHarmony date I went on, and it was that same level of like, just too much like just too much and she's like you guys were lovers in a past life you i see you having three kids you don't have to have three kids but it's a possibility i could see you guys getting married and then she says exactly what i'm thinking which is like this is a lot like i just i just met the guy i'm just chatting and it's funny because you can date with the idea like i want to get married without necessarily wanting to get married that first date like it's a lot it's just yeah. it, it's it's just too much. It's just, it, was too, it was too much for me watching, let alone for her. And then she drops the bomb that she's dating multiple people right now, and maybe she wants a couple husband. You thought he had a pretty good answer. Uh, I mean, he didn't fumble on that one. He didn't fumble on it. He didn't send her running out the lawn, because they were, I wasn't saying I'm running out the bar, but she wasn't in a bar. She was on the front lawn. So she didn't go running off of their front lawn, but they kind of were like, Maybe this isn't what they're looking for. But they really seem to be looking for someone. All of these, his at least, it was a bad first date, but at least it was a date. A lot of these are like job interviews. Like At bars, but still. Yeah, but they're still, we'll get to them in a second. But are I mean, like, I've had a job interview at a bar. I didn't drink, though, because it was a job interview. Where, what, what job was that? <laughs> the, my last. Uh, Land America? or Company job. Fidelity after, after or whatever. That. One of those. One of those. Title insurance. The sexy and exciting world of title insurance. What? Did I not say it right? By the way, just as a side no, note. that's fine. He, he, he works in title insurance. It probably took me about eight months to figure <laughs> out what title insurance was. I was like, so it's insurance? So you're, you're a realtor. Neither of those two. Anyway, no one it, cares about title insurance. Anyway. You can tell if you want. It's insurance, making sure the people who are going for loans are the people that they are. And, and that the house that, and that people the are house buying. doesn't have other loans or that we know all the stuff. And right. so it ensures that, you know, anyway. It's required in many states. Some of it has to be done by lawyers. If you buy a place without title insurance, you're not that bright. Yeah. I ba mean. Basically, it's like, how do I know that someone else doesn't own this house that I'm trying to buy? Right. If I buy it from the person I I also have it. a bridge to India I could sell you. Right, so anyway, sorry. Boring, boring side view. Um, uh, yeah, so they're like, well, we're just not sure. She's very pretty. I can see why she wants multiple husbands. She's like, well, she's dating like a mold bunch of guys right now. Why should she Just because cut she's dating, well, anyway. I don't think she's much to look at. Isn't he great? Isn't he the perfect husband? He does not think anyone else is attractive. It's all I ask for in a man. <laughs> to think that I'm the best That's looking all. one. That's all. That's all. That's That was a very low bar. And you most, are good looking at that, buddy. Most men didn't just face plant it right in front of it. Um, so anyway, that's... Oh, the Winders. So there's Kimberly, Kimberly's visiting. She, now, this is going to sound really mean. He is not into her in the least bit. But I don't think she's into him in the least. I'm not convinced. I mean, 
she thinks this is what she wants, but he she's... more or less told his wife that before they brought her out. And they're like, well, we get to see Sparks in person. Then they ask, well, do you think there's Sparks now? Well, he's not really a Sparky kind of guy. <laughs> it's like, okay. Okay, large wife. That's a good one. Oh, they're both tiny. Uh, no, I... I know, the I know. other one is the large wife, and and then they make a joke like that. That's a pretty good zinger. Okay. That, that was my point. I know. It wasn't. Um, <laughs> Tough crowd. No, <laughs> Ooh, the room's a little cold today. Uh -huh. Anyway, no, but they, he just wants no part of this. There's like, it's, they keep making these excuses. It's pretty clear. This is how my face always looks. It's just, hey, and then he looks over at his wife and, and smiles. And smiles. And looks at his other wife and, and smiles. smiles. And then and looks, looks at, at Kimberly and... But it's just, and it's, I don't feel this, I just don't think he wants another wife, and he's just not really that interested in her. But he I don't, definitely doesn't want her as another wife. But the thing is, I'm not giving the vibe from her that she's at all interested in him. She seems to like the other girls, but she's just not into him. Maybe a little too much. Well, I don't know if it's too much. I just don't think that she wants what they want. Speaking of bisexuals, let's transition into the other couple. Okay, so that was... Amazing TV to watch. The Clarks are going on a date with Emily, who's 22. So first off, well, okay, just to jump over the whole date, let's just start with maybe if they were dating people within like 10 years of their age, they would be finding more people in a similar place in life. Because they're like... Not, well, not trying to figure out who they are. Right. And they're like, oh, and I'm like, there's nothing wrong with a 22-year-old trying to figure out where she is in life. And then I go, oh, yeah, they're like our age. Could you imagine dating a 22-year-old? Oh, yeah. I actually did that. Someone played, you know, that, that mathematical formula. Like, half your age plus seven. Okay. And that's supposed to be the... So that's 20. So for you, that's like 26. That's supposed to be, like, below that it gets. Okay. Dating the first time below that it gets. What? Like, before we married... Dating people that were no, that's the rule on how how you how late you should how. And I'm saying, I want cl the closer the better. Okay. Anyway, yeah. Is what I'm saying. I'm actually older. I like them young. Nobody believes that. It's true though. Anyway, so they go on this date with her. They're like, oh, you seem really nervous. Just relax. And it's like then it's like, so how do you feel about polygamous? What are you looking for? And I'm like, I've been. On on job interviews that were less intense. Actually, I haven't been on that many job interviews. I've kind of fallen into my work, and I work for myself. But that were this that were like less intense than this. And so, plus there's a whole camera crew. I had a hard time nailing down her age. And she said 22. I was like, what you? And then mentions that her ex is is a female. And then he's like, oh, so do you so do you call yourself bisexual? And she's like, consider yourself. Consider yourself or some weird wording. And she's like, and it was kind of like, no, I, I am bisexual. Like, there's no pussyfooting around that. I am bisexual. And then he all of a sudden he realizes, like, oh, maybe she thinks this is a swingers relationship. <laughs> yeah. uh, all and of a sudden all, he's like, oops. Yeah, so then he's, like, trying to clarify, like, but she didn't say, there was nothing in the conversation up to that point where she said she was interested in Vanessa, the wife. Other than I really like both of you. Oh, did she say that? I'm pretty well, sure. Well, she made some comment about how, like, I like you guys as a couple. But until she said she was bisexual, I only saw that as one way. So she never actually <laughs> she was like, explicitly why, why said... We, why are we going on a date before we just go do the deed? Well... <laughs> With she, both of you. But she never said <laughs> that she was looking for that. Sorry, I just kicked the thing. Anyway, so they did this whole thing where they were like... Oh, well, just to be clear, in our polygamist, and I was like, maybe they should have had that little job interview, like a little a little information sheet at the beginning to pass over if they're going to go for this this whole thing. Anyway, the level of uncomfortableness for me as a viewer, no, because no one was hurt. No one was, I mean, they were a little embarrassed, but she wasn't. She was totally fine with it. She was like, let me just tell you what's going on. Um, and, well, then... Then, Do you remember the end, how it ended? I don't know. There was a lot of commercials. So after that, she was like, he's like, oh, okay, this probably is the point where it tips over and makes it clear what she was thinking, where she's like, well, you know, no one likes knows a woman's body like a woman. Oh, yeah. And he got really kind of jokingly offended, but offended, oh, I don't think so. Oh, don't you? I am I got this covered. He's like, I, there's things I can offer. And she's like, okay, I, I'll agree to that. 
But it was a little bit like, okay. Pretty sure, I mean, yeah, pretty sure he can bring something to the table that no woman can. <laughs> yes. That she does have he does have some unique some unique features. <laughs> anyway, definitely worth watching there. Is that all of them? Well, they didn't have the Snowdens on this week. Yes, but they Maybe are going to be on next week. I we we did think when we didn't see them that, that they added them out because you know. But I haven't heard any more news from that front. But it does look like they're going to get. He's which, a wife beater raper. According to the allegedly. According to the thing, but we haven't heard anything recently. But hopefully, if the. But it looks like they're going to get married. It looks like they're going to get married. So that's going to be. Boring. Well, for the Snowdens, for those of you who didn't see the first season or who forgot, I do remember this part, is that they are not currently legally married. That way every wife would be of equal footing, but because Chrissy's from another country... In Except order for to this get, one. She would need to get married. Anyway, anyway, we're getting ahead of ourselves. So there you go. Good episode. We'll see you later.